Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video, and in this video I'm going to go over the recent news regarding Mohanish Pabrai and his recent investment in Brookfield asset management stock. The reason this move is interesting for me is that Brookfield is one of the largest holdings in my stocks portfolio, and Mohanish Pabrai is one of my favorite value investors out there that I always follow his portfolio moves and his perspectives regarding stocks and investing styles. For those of you who are not familiar with Monish Pabrai, he's one of the world's most successful value investors with a very likable personality. Monish Pabrai has also consistently outperformed the benchmark of S&P 500 in the last 20 years, so I think his perspective on stocks are valuable. According to the recent 30th filings for the recent quarter, Pabrai Investment, which is Mohnish Pabrai's investment firm in the US, established a new position in Brookfield Asset Management with 180,000 shares which is a significant portion. Brookfield is now the Pabrai's second largest publicly traded holding with a relatively large portion of 7.46% of his portfolio. Pabrai's other two holdings in his equity portfolio are Micron Technology and Seritage Growth Properties, which is a real estate investment trust. Of course, this is not all of his net worth and his main investments are in private businesses in India, Turkey and South Korea, but it is interesting for me to see that he is investing in Brookfield. He usually invests in stocks that he believes have strong business fundamentals and are severely undervalued. I mean, he's looking for businesses that can be 10 or 100 baggers in the long term. I mean, the stocks can be 10x or 100x in the long run, or at the very least can double in three years. One of the key metrics that Mohnish look, as, look at is the ability of the company to reinvest their cash flow efficiently and spawn new businesses with their excess cash flow. He called these kind of type of businesses spawners. Listen to a short clip of Mohnish Pabrai YouTube channel where he describes the concept of spawner businesses and compared them to other type of businesses that you can basically invest in them. But the one I want to talk about today, uh, which is uh, part of the renaissance this year, is the spawners. And the spawners are companies that's, that continuously spawn related and unrelated businesses. Very few companies have the DNA to be great spawners. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll drill down a little bit on the different kinds of spawners. And uh, basically, these are companies that have a deep conviction of, and really it's part of the DNA to keep adding and incubating new businesses that have the potential to be massive growth engines. They expect many of these things to fail and they take failure in their stride. And, you know, a good example is the Bezos quote, uh, you know, you know, it says staying in day one requires you to experiment patiently, accept failures, plant seeds, protect saplings and double down when you see customer delight. And uh, Amazon is one of the great spawner companies that we have. Spawning also has a lot of advantages, in fact, a lot more advantages than cannibals because cannibals have to pay tax on their earnings and then they can use the money to buy back shares. In the case of spawning, what you're doing is you're basically reducing your net income, which basically then reduces your taxes. So in effect, you're getting a interest-free loan from the government on very easy terms, you know, payable when able. So for example, through most of its history, Amazon has uh, hardly reported much in earnings. Their core businesses were quite profitable, but they were taking all the cash flows and continuously investing them into new bets. So in very simple words, a spawner company is a company that can continuously spawn new real related and unrelated businesses and reinvest their cash flow in these new ventures. And sometimes even make risky bets with their excess cash flow that can significantly enhance the cash flow of the company of the main business in the future. I believe Brookfield matches this description perfectly, and that's why Mohnish started a position in Brookfield Asset Management. Brookfield has a core asset, man asset management business with more than $750 billion assets under management, which has strong fundamentals and nice returns, but it has so many other avenues for reinvesting their cash flow. They have a renewable energy business, they have infrastructure business, they have private equity businesses, they have real estate businesses, and they have insurance businesses. 
They have a global diversity in terms of their assets and they operate in more than 30 countries around the world. They operate in North America, South America, Europe, Middle East, Pacific region and even Eastern Asian countries like China, South Korea and Japan. The fundamental of Brookfield asset management business is simple. If they see value somewhere in a business or in an asset, they invest for value. It doesn't matter what part of the world or which sector this business operates in, the most important factor for Brookfield management is value. They, then they try to enhance the operations of this business, which now they own, and monetize these assets as much as possible. They are constantly looking for new business opportunities. Just look at the la latest earnings report of this company. As basically uh, the last quarter, the September 30th, 2022, Brookfield had approximately 125 billion of capital, including cash and cash equivalents, ready to be deployed. And they're constantly looking for undervalued assets to buy and add to this cash flow generating machine. This is a perfect match between Mohnish Pabrai Spawner's investment framework and Brookfield business model. And in my opinion, that's why Mohnish bought a stake in Brookfield Asset Management. If you're interested to more, learn more about Brookfield business model, you can watch my Brookfield stock analysis video and also my coverage of their earnings report. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video and you're interested to follow Brookfield stock earnings report and stock valuation videos, consider subscribing to the channel to see similar content. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Farewell.